guys, welcome to Channel 8 News. Today we've got a special exclusive that we're bringing to you. It's about Sierra Leone and we're going to interview some people and I'm going to show it to you. Over to the correspondent, Giordano Martinez. I'm deep in the jungles of Sierra Leone. You may not know Sierra Leone for Ebola. No one remembers it anymore, but it's big. Sierra Leone was a site massive civil war that spanned between 1991 and 2002 when militants rose up against the government, resulting in 50,000 deaths. But how were the militants funded? Diamonds. Oh! Oh! Thanks, Giordano. Now we've brought in a special guest, Tim Bessley, to help illustrate this segment. And now, we're going to show you what happens in Sierra Leone. Ah! Ah! Now we're interviewing a soldier. What do you want the age? Can you tell us what it was like being in Syria Leone? Well, oh, I, I haven't been to Syria really, but I have been in there. Total war than that. Comes from the antitude. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome back, and we're going to show you now some some footage, some an informational video on what blood diamonds and Sierra Leone really is. Cue the clip. Kobe is a Sierra Leonean boy and a village warrior in training, one of strong will. However. He has been haunted by events from his past. Kobe was forced to work as a laborer in the diamond mines at the age of 13. It was absolutely terrible. Me and my friend were accused of stealing and hiding the diamonds. Did you? No, man. Mr. Mugagi was crazy. He set us down and he... He tortured us. This business is about respect. You steal from me, you disrespect me. I want my diamonds. Where are they? Oh. Where are my diamonds? What? Get up! I just... Oh. You! Come here. Get down. No, he... Head on. He didn't do anything wrong. Oh no. Come on, we start. Come on, we start. You die. <laughs> 